Uh, my interest in science grew up step by step. Um, math was my love since I was young. Uh, then during my high school I had an amazing professor uh, that uh, get me in chemistry physics. But uh, despite I love this subject, in the beginning I didn't choose science right away. I, first I tried nursing, then physiotherapy, and it was during a summer break that I had the opportunity to, to work in a laboratory in a pub factory uh, that I discovered that I really like to work in a laboratory. After that summer break, I asked my parents that I want to go work, that I didn't want more to, to go to university because I was not liking the curse at all. And my parents said like, okay, choose what you want. Uh, we, we, we would like that you, should, that you take a, a curse. And it was with that experience that I moved to chemical engineering. Uh, but I will say that my love for science appears during the, uh, my course in chemical engineering when I had the opportunity to, wor to work uh, in the, a laboratory um, at CICECO uh, where I could understand that science is not only to understand phenomena but also we can use it to solve real problems and after that time I, I, I decided to, that I would like to be scientist, let's say. Uh, so I will say that my passion comes from two different things. The first one is what I said, like uh, I really uh, like to solve real, find solutions for real world problems. And the other one is the human side. Uh, I like to work with the students, seeing them growing. Uh, and also in this prof uh, profession, you can work with people ver from very different uh, cultures and I like it a lot uh, because the way that I will solve a problem is not the same way that maybe, for example, a Japanese will solve and I, I like uh, to, to have the, this. So I will say that my biggest, biggest challenge was to find my spotlight in this such a competitive field. Uh, science is a, also a journey, a journey of persistence um, and patience because it takes time for you can uh, get the results and sometimes we think that in one month we can get it but it will take six months or one year and sometimes also can be the opposite. But uh, uh, I will say that uh, if you really want to do science, you need to be very persistent and have a little of patience. That because sometimes can take time for you get the things. Uh, it's mainly because I really love this. Try to find solutions, teach people. So okay, sometimes the the day is we arrive at the end of the day and the things were not as expected. But tomorrow is another day and the things maybe will be better um, so uh, that that question is a little difficult because as I explained in the beginning my career was not maybe the most conventional one so where I will be in 10 years I don't have idea I can tell you what I would like to do during these 10 years or what I want to do I, I want to work continue to work in sustainable solutions. I'm working uh, since the beginning in the valorization of biomass and nowadays I'm more related with the plastic recycling, find greener solvents to do it. So for sure that will be a big part of my next 10 years. Another thing is I would like to work uh, also internationally, um, have uh, more collaborations if possible with Japan because that is my I, I like that, uh, that country um, and continue to teach the students and, and is that. I will say the first thing is choose by yourself what you want to do um, and don't uh, be afraid of the mistakes because it will be with the mistakes that we, you will learn. Another thing is if you have the opportunity um, work um, outside of uh, don't do for example all your PhD uh, without 
move uh, and do, for example, a small experience even in Portugal, but another university, but preferentially internationally, because that uh, will give you, um, will allow you to grow up not only professionally, but also personal. You will have uh, experience that another way you will not have it, and I can ensure that is the best part. I, I had the opportunity during my PhD and also during my postdoc, I, I work in uh, Brazil, Japan and Germany and I will not be the person that I, I'm today if I didn't do it.